Welcome back to X-Play. We finally got one of the most anticipated games being released this year with this Topian undersea shooter known as Bioshock. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. Descend. Down where you don't control your dreams. Enter a place where anything was possible. A new Plymouth Rock. But it wasn't freedom of religion these pioneers were after. It was freedom of science. Welcome to the city of Rapture. Bioshock for the 360 has arrived. Rapture is a place of wildly imaginative ruin, a place where science, style, and humanity collided, scattering its remains over massive Art Deco-inspired dreers. Meet Andrew Ryan, and yes, the similarity to Ayn Rand is as clear as his name and his credo. He gave the people what they wanted, human perfection that slowly turned into a gene-tortured decline into corruption, addiction, and madness. First, if you're going to survive this world, you'll need a pint of the local beverage. Plasmids, biological enhancements that render you into a physical weapon. They work well on their own, but when used in combination with other elements like augmented weapons, they work even better. You'll encounter gene banks and vending machines where you can upgrade, purchase, and modify elements of your physical arsenal. Adam and Eve are fundamentally the biological currency of rapture. It's what gives you power. A great place to get gobs of Adam is not only on our website, but from these little darlings. So cute. Come here. Fine, beat it then. These dainty brats are known as little sisters. They ooze Adam. There's just one itty bitty little problem. Okay, not such a little problem. Big daddies are a kind of lumbering, homeless boss. You'll stumble upon them unpredictably throughout the city. The good news is that if you leave them and the little sister they're charged with protecting alone, they'll leave you alone. But if you so much as cast a shadow on the tiny bitch, look out. Big daddies are truly a force to reckon with. If you're able to set a Big Daddy's son, however, A, high five, and B, you have a choice to make. A moral choice that will affect the outcome of the game depending on your own moral gaming conscience. Kill him, big juice. Or heal him, little juice. You saved me. It's a great hook in the game to emerge from the ultra-violence of a Big Daddy battle and then decide a child's fate. Sound design is truly a work of art, as Jazz Age music knits naively into the strained fabric of psychotic suffering. Deep colors and stark lighting effects enhance the experience to perfection point. Bioshock's a trip. I'd buy a ticket. A five. Out of five. It's time for an X-Play replay. Vampire Rain got a two out of five. It's a cool premise, but with terrible levels. Nancy Drew, the white wolf of Icicle Creek, got a three out of five. We were as surprised as you are that it's a decent action game. Trackmania United got a four out of five. It looks great, but is a little multiplayer centric. Planet Puzzly got a four out of five. The gameplay is addictive, but box organization is a little too familiar. Call of Juarez got a two out of five. It's pretty, but slow. And Bioshock got a five out of five because it rocks. X-Play, video viewer mail. My question is, if you were trapped inside of a video game server, which game would you want it to be? Rayman, I love that world. Yes, it is a little bit dangerous, but I think I could find a little corner where I could be reasonably undisturbed. And it's such a nice mix of the dark and the whimsical, and Rayman's a good drinking buddy. Well, I'm going to be predictable, go with Ratchet and Clank. Sure, there are endless waves of attack, but finite, completable tasks, like finding all of the sewer crystals, it gives me a nice sense of control over an uncontrollable world. All right, now stay tuned, because another X-Play starts now.